Hi and welcome to a new MSM tutorial. I am Jérôme Daziano from DPS and we will see today uh, the function in MSM uh, called to XML export. So first open a cat analysis file so as we can see we have already worked on this cat part and we have created all the MSM uh, entities, all the medial surfaces uh, and with all the properties such as all the thickness etc. And to continue uh, in our work we would like not to mesh in v 5 but we want to mesh in an external software. And for this demonstration, we will choose Abacus CAE as external software, external measure. And so we can do that in clicking the button to XML, which will export all the medial entities to EGS files, and then we'll create an XML file which will make the link between all the properties, all the thicknesses, and all the patches that we can see at the screen. So we want to export in that folder. So I will copy the path. I click on the export button, MSM, and I will paste the path of the export here. And then, OK. So the export is proceeding. I will open the folder in the same time, you can see. So we have all the medial entities that have been exported and then the XML, uh, the XML file. You can open the XML file to see uh, some attributes in it. So this file makes the links between all the EGS files and all the thicknesses that uh, MSM has computed before uh, during our work in MSM. So, once we have this, it is quite easy if we choose an external software that enables scripting, scripting functions to develop the script, such as we have done uh, here for Abacus CAE. Effectively, we have developed a Python script, a Python script here, that will enable us to import all the GS files, to read the XML here, and we will be able to link the properties that MSM has computed to, uh, to all the medial entities here. So how it works? It's quite easy. In Abacus CIE, everything is empty, zero parts, you know, nothing. File, run script, and so we choose effectively the directory to our Python script. Click OK. And so the import is proceeding. And so we can go to the final part that we have created. This view. And if I, uh, I want to, to show the section's uh, color, I click in here and we can see that in this part all these entities have different properties. Okay, so it means different thicknesses. When a color is different, there are different thicknesses. So all the properties are here, so several properties, and all comes from uh, the XML file that has been uh, read by uh, Abacus CRE thanks to the script, to the Python script. Okay, once we are here, what we can do to ensure that the all the thicknesses are quite uh, convenient, we can show, uh, for example, render shell thicknesses. So we can show thicknesses. So of course it's not perfect, it's just a render, but we can see that the thicknesses seems quite 
seems quite good compared to this to this one that is the real solid part so this one is just an approximation but you can see it seems quite good and so then we can go to the mesh module we can see the mesh see the default well, it seems okay so the holes will be meshed very thinly but it's not a problem for this demonstration so we can mesh and it's okay everything has been meshed we can also check uh, uh, free edges for example um, the mesh has no intersecting boundary faces so so it's okay we have no free edges for example or intersecting elements so uh, to XML is just a general export function that enable from MSM to export all the geometry to be able to mesh it in an external uh, mesher software without forgetting all the properties uh, and so all the thicknesses computed by MSM. Uh, the only thing you have to do is just to develop the script which will be able to read the XML and associate uh, all the properties to, to the EGS, EGS file. Uh, so we did uh, an example on Abacus CAE, but it can work on all external measures that enable uh, scripting functions and scripting uh, capability. So this concludes our demonstration. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.